Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, it looks like RDR2 got a secret update, at least on the consoles, on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 earlier today, which was kind of a surprise. So I'm sure many of you guys are highly anticipating the release of uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC. I know that's what a lot of people are looking forward to, but it looks like Rockstar decided to do something to the consoles today, which is certainly kind of interesting. Now, when you sign in today, if you are on PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, you'll notice that you'll have to update Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, this is not the same as the weekly updates that we get that gives us a new bounty, that gives us bonuses, discounts, and sales. Like This is something that you actually have to download in order to play the game. And according to the update history, this is version 1.14. Now, brace yourselves here. This is the only thing that Rockstar said it does. Various stability fixes. That's it. That's all that they officially said this update does. Now, what's weird about this is that apparently the update was around 3 gigabytes in size. That's actually pretty massive. And for only various stability fixes, that doesn't give us a ton of details. Now again, you might be wondering what these various stability fixes are. I'm sure they have something to do with the servers or online status or connectivity issues, abilities, stuff like that. If that's what I had to guess, stability fixes probably means. Now if you're wondering if this has anything to do with story mode, the answer is no. Apparently all the changes were made, uh, happened in Red Dead Online. And also, apparently, there was nothing regarding the PC content uh, on the consoles either. So I've seen a lot of people saying, does this mean that Rockstar is adding some of the new stuff that's coming to RDR2 on PC on the consoles, like the new weapons and the new bounty hunts and the new horses and stuff like that? Uh, the answer is no. None of the PC stuff has just magically showed up on the console. But there is one significant change that I think Rockstar ended up making here, and that is actually for Red Dead Online. Now, I'm sure there's a handful of other things that Rockstar actually changed here, but the big thing that you can now do is actually remove the offhand holster from your outfit. So if you go to the wardrobe section of any general store or tailor or your camp, and then you go to weapon holsters, you can now actually remove the offhand holster which in my opinion is nice. It, it's something that should have been there since day one. So I'm not sure why it's taken almost a year for Rockstar to add this, but regardless, it is a cool little change. Now you might be wondering if you remove the offhand holster, does that also remove your ability to dual wield weapons? And the answer is surprisingly no. So I don't know how Rockstar justify this because where do you pull out the second gun from? So I actually tried this in game and apparently the guy just like pulls it out of midair. And same when you're putting your weapons away, he just sort of like tucks it into his pants, I guess. So I thought for sure that if you removed the offhand holster from your outfit that you would not be able to equip a second sidearm. But apparently that's not the case and you still can like normal. Now, as far as what other things have changed, some players have noticed that there is a different amount of animals that are spawning for them. Others have noticed that the camp glitch no longer affects them. So I wish Rockstar would give a little bit more details on what's going on here. If I had to take a guess on why the update is happening now and why Rockstar have just said we're getting stability fixes, I think what uh, Rockstar is doing is getting the console versions of Red Dead Redemption 2 on the same level as PC without the new content. So every bug fix that Rockstar likely made for RDR2 for the PC, they likely just threw that in for the console guys. Uh, they just obviously didn't provide any of the new content. And that would explain why this update is happening today, just one day, less than 24 hours before the PC version of the game releases. So that is what happened in Red Dead Redemption 2 today. There was a downloadable update version 1.14 that apparently made some various stability fixes and also included some miscellaneous cool updates to Red Dead Online as well, apparently. So if anything new comes about from this, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated. You can also let me know in the comments down below if you've noticed any other changes in either single player or Red Dead Online since the latest 1.14 update, um, any changes, bugs, or glitches that you might have known. 
And obviously, be sure to subscribe if you guys are new here on the YouTube channel because Red Dead Redemption 2 for PC is going to be coming out tomorrow. We'll be doing a ton of fun videos, uh, including mods and, you know, looking at mysteries we were unable to explore on the PS4 version and Xbox One version, uh, and also some of the cut content that we might find in the game as well. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you guys are new and be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Again, sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.